So Barry, you know, he's not very good at bowling. Okay, so Barry is going to bowl without gutters. What's uh, the, the bumpers? He's going to throw his ball in the gutter, right? Just example. Right? <laughs> yeah, I stick to like I, I'm terrible, right? I'm actually pre- I can throw it pretty straight, but every once in a while it's going to go straight in the gutter, right? Because I'm a straight ball uh, shooter, right, Woody? 100%. But but when you put the bumpers on there, it keeps the ball out of the gutter, right? <laughs> So, you know, I think we all, we need the bumpers, you know, we need the bumpers. It's, it's going to be a train wreck. It, it, maybe it already is. Yeah, I was about to and, say. And uh, it's out of control locomotive. And uh, so how do you, I don't, how, I, don't, I don't do nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just, I just keep on keeping on. I don't, I don't spend any time worrying about something I can't control. Uh, we try to put a, um, you know, we've got how we run our program again, not speaking from a collective space because I'm not in control. I don't have communication with collective. I know what came out um, and, you know, what supposedly is going to be available for our players. And uh, I think that the NIL space is a very good thing. Like I've said, I have not changed uh, on that at all. And a lot of it's because I, again, how, again, I grew up, I went to college, I walked on a scholarship, I still needed money. I needed money and uh, paid back student loans until I was 38 years old. And because I took out all the money, I couldn't get any money from home. And I eventually was able to, to buy a car, saved up enough I could buy a car and I needed gas, I needed insurance, uh, needed to buy clothes and just entertainment. You need some money. So I think it's really cool that we um, have finally wised up and created a, a, a small space for that. And uh, you know, with good intention, I just hope that uh, at some point in time, you know, it, it gets to where um, there's some equality to it. Um, there's some, makes some sense and that um, we're not prostituting these kids and uh, just, you know, I don't, I wouldn't give a open credit card to any of my kids, you know, uh, you know, so why would, you know, you write a blank check and um, that's not what the intention of the rule was, but um, putting some uh, money in the pocket and giving them opportunity to uh, take advantage of, you know, name, image, and likeness, build their brand. Uh, you know, we have a co-branding at the university. That, I mean, that's great. Sell your jerseys, make some money, go sign some autographs, make some money, go to a, sign some balls and make some money, go, you know, I, I think that's a great exchange, you know, but don't lose focus on the real return on investment. And that's short-term money, which is good. Real return on investment. And that's what we try. We're going to work really hard to educate our guys financially. The financial literacy piece is incredibly important, um, whether that's taxes or an LLC. Uh, certainly, how to invest money, how to open a bank account. You know, uh, just to be smart and mindful. The, the IRS will hunt you and find you, and you will go to prison. Okay, if you don't follow these rules. So with all a lot of backdoor stuff, these same people that are involved in some of the, the stuff that shouldn't be going on are going to be the same people that have no skin in the game when these kids are faced uh, with um, you know, tax evasion. You know, and that's sad. You know, um, it's really sad. And that's going to happen. Like that's right on down the road. Is 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 in the you know on the in the front of that hood of that car. It's where we're going. Um, so we're trying to do what we can to help our guys um, be be in the be an industry leader in that in that space. And you know our sole mission is a wonderful part of our NIL. You know holistic development, and that's the real return on investment. Education, getting your degree. Uh, creating opportunities to, uh, for them through career development and uh, some service opportunities and just their their manhood. You know, they're you know when they were 14 going into high school, they're a lot different when they're 17 or 18 and graduating. There's a they went from not shaving to some of them are shaving and they went from not driving to now they they got a learner's permit and they went from never dating to going to prom and. And when they go to college, there's going to be another transformation that takes place. And we need to help facilitate that. These are still kids. And uh, they don't know what they don't know. And um, so um, we're going to promote that. You know, that, uh, you know, where we're going to um, promote the, the growth and development um, from education and certainly the football piece. Like Oklahoma, 15 straight years of four plus players drafted in the NFL, which is the most in college football. So continue to be who we've been in that in that place. And uh, 
uh, because that's important too for them to have the one opportunity to go play in the most difficult league in the planet. Okay, we're going to get you as prepared and equipped and empowered as possible so that you have longevity. You can maximize the one small window that you have. One small window. You get one opportunity to put your best foot forward. So don't cheapen. Don't take a shortcut. Don't go at a discount. Okay, maximize all of it. And then when that's over, because that's going to be over sooner rather than later, man, you're ready for what's next. You don't have any questions. You're confident like you are coming off the edge on third and 12, okay, or, you know, running that, that dig route at 12 yards deep, okay, man, you're, you're confident like the receiver is or the defensive end is in, you know, on the field. You're every bit as confident in the interview uh, process, uh, you know, in a boardroom, and leading in, uh, as a leader in your community, you know, as a husband, as a father, you stand and look yourself in the mirror as a full-grown man and know that you got a fully loaded tool belt and you're ready for what's next. I mean, that's that's what we want for our guys and their experience, and that's that's a big part of our NIL. And we have there's collective opportunities, in my understanding, and that's a big part too. And that's good. And uh, you know, just whatever it is, follow the rules, and um, nobody can provide a bigger stage and have a better brand than the Oklahoma brand. And um, so we have some internal and external marketing components too to help facilitate our guys um, being able to maximize their small window. You gotta play it well. <laughs> you can't be, you know, again, that guy, what was the guy in the back of the line that wasn't paying attention? What's his name? Johnny. Um Johnny Jackaround. Johnny Jackaround. Okay. Right? You, you, you can't be that guy that's Johnny Jackaround, and, and you're you're trying to be so busy over here in a space that you that that you you know that you're not focusing on education, going to school, going to tutors, uh, going to the weight room, going to the workouts, showing up with purpose. If you're going to be great at being a football player, if you're going to be great at being a student, if you're going to get your degree, man, you got to put the work in. You have to put the work in. And whatever you get, NIL or education, football, success, manhood, you're going to get what you earn. Okay? Not to me, just isn't going to give it to you. You can't just give it to somebody. And um, so we're, that's, you know, we're going we're gonna to sell that. You know, I think that's a, that's a great thing. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.